Gentleman from the 17th, two minutes on tabling. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think I've said it earlier, however, uh, African American history is American history. African American history is also world history. And I think it, it would behoove us to glean from this type of history so that young white kids in classrooms can learn about the true nature of American history. They can learn about the entrenched and insidious nature of racism and where, where that come, comes from and how that operates. Also, there will not only be white kids in that classroom, there will be African-American children in these classrooms because it is very important to have a culturally reflective education as you're coming up in a state. There have been often times where black people are, to are told that they are less than, that they are not as good as other folks. And having an education that directly reflects the greatness of who you are and who your people are, who your ancestors are, are key and vital to the education of not only those children, but all of our children. We need to know about the Ella Bakers and the Bob Moseses and the Fannie Lou Hamers that did so much to push this narrative forward. If we were gonna talk about having an election this year, we need to know these individuals who influenced elections in our time and in our history. It would behoove us to push forward African-American history, just like we're going to require uh, folks to learn about the Holocaust. Those two things go hand in hand and we should be doing both. So I urge my colleagues to vote, to not table this, to take up this amendment and, and present it to those in your district because it'll be a good time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.